going on guys um today we will be messing with a 2002 chevy tahoe we're going to be doing the whole front end rebuild minus the struts um these are the lowers uppers inner and outer tie rods Once I get the Suburban back, we'll probably be doing the same thing to mine. This right here is going to be the lower. I just want to make sure it comes with a new cotter pin on there. And it doesn't because these don't carry the cotter pins. That's cool. To the tie rods. That's the upper control arm. So, yeah. They don't come with cotter pins. Uh-uh. So these will be coming off the lowers, inner and outer tie rods. Uh, and then it's gonna need an alignment, but I'm gonna try to get it as close as I can to OEM. <laughs> um, but yeah guys, so this will be kind of the same thing that's gonna be happening to the Suburban when I get it back. I'm not too sure if I've showed y'all the lift kit that I have for it in the back. Um, but we took the tires off right let's get into it. I believe these are 2019s. If you want to look for a 19, 19s on the tops and the bottoms as well. I know the bottoms are 21s, but I need to get this tie rod off first. 19 and a 21. I have a flip socket in there. Should we gonna be a bitch? Fucking weak. This whole thing's weak. Did it? Hmm? There you go. Movement. Really? God damn. <laughs> you want me to get it? Yeah. Okay. Show over here. <laughs> All right, so we got both tie rods off. Uh, they are busted. Um, on the upper control arm, they should both be 19s. All three of them actually, one, two, and three, the one on the bottom. Carries a 10 mil to carry the brake line on the hard line. And then this was just zip tied on there. But um, I should be able to just smack it from the bottom and it'll come free um i was noticing that these all of these have like the aftermarket control arms with the fittings on there for the ball joints so they have been replaced before but it must have been a long time ago um because everything's busted uh so we're gonna try to get this control arm off real quick and we'll show you the bushings on the inside off now see the difference between the old one and the new one the new one doesn't have the fitting for the grease so i'm kind of upset about that because how am i supposed to fill this i'm gonna have to get a new ball joint every time um but it feels good quality the bushings are i mean these aren't terrible but that one's busted so it, it'll give you play in the suspension which one feels heavier? I don't know. This one? That one? Yeah. yeah. It looks like it's made a little better material. I just don't like the ball joint it has. But anyways, uh, we'll get this installed real quick. Because I'm going to do... What I'm going to be doing is taking one off and putting another one on. So that we don't have the front end all taken apart. Um, so we're going to install this the same way it came out. Now the, the, bol the bolts for these... You have the heads of the bolts on the inside, so they come in that way. 
Um, I'm gonna have to find me a nut for this one because I didn't have one, but it's also missing the the swivel nut on the end. So I'm gonna see if we can get I can get a hold of one of those. But yeah, it's going along. It's not too hard. Right? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. One thing I did forget to mention. This? Yeah, that's what I was gonna tell you. Uh these have that on there so you can adjust it now on the frame here it carries a notch as well so there's no way you can really mess this up just so y'all know um it has a notch on both sides um actually this one doesn't have it the front one only has it but so yeah make sure y'all at least have the nut on the slide on the notch and this before part. tightening it no no, no this part oh just kidding but yeah, so just so y'all know. So uh, <laughs> I was trying to find a bolt at home, but I don't have one. And I came to AutoZone and try to match something up, but they don't fucking have it. So don't, don't go to AutoZone. Go to AutoZone. Yeah, so I'm gonna need the crest nut and the nut for the other side. I'm probably just gonna go to work real quick and see if I can. Maybe match something up, but I'll be lucky if I do. I mean, I know we did that for my truck. We were able to put one on because mine was the same issue. Um, but I'll see if I can find something. I'll keep y'all updated. But we got that control arm on. Now we just gotta finish the whole other side. Well, I right. got it. Now we can put that on and we can finish this side once we get that lower one off. The lower one off. That was the biggest it's pain struggling. in my ass <laughs> I've ever fucking dealt with. You're welcome. <sighs> my white ass. I'm not, I'm not too sure. I mean, it wasn't terrible, but it's about time. They got replaced. So now the new one's going in. I don't recommend this. <laughs> don't do this at home. <laughs> what? I'm just kidding. I don't fucking like you. Get it through the torsion bar. Yes, do it. You got it or you want me to do it? No, I can do it. Can you just come have it? Yeah. Yeah. Alright guys, so we're back at the house. We had dinner, everything. Um but whenever we had gotten the tie rod, the inner tie rods, they were different. Um this end right here are the ones they gave us were the were longer and, and thinner than the ones that came on the truck so they weren't working so we had to go back again okay. and get new uh inner tie rods and we got the uh, sway bar links so now everything will be new on the front end except for the struts now this side's done already we're just going to tighten everything down make sure double check everything and the only thing i'm not going to leave or the only thing i'm not going to plug in right now is going to be the sway bar links just so i have play on the other side so that the sway bar is on the way but I mean, that'll be easy to put on tomorrow. Yes. Um, but other than that, this side's done. Um, mm -hmm. It's up to her if she wants to do the rest tonight or not. Probably not. Uh, we're kind of oh. tired. Oh. But I don't know. We we'll probably will. We'll probably not. I don't know. But this is the uh, this side done. Upper, lower, inner and outer tie rods. And then we'll have a new sway bar link as well. Coming um, soon. Yeah. <laughs> so... And then after this, I'll go get an alignment on it tomorrow, probably, or Wednesday. So, yeah, guys. And I have a mess to fucking pick up. So, that's probably why I don't want to do the rest tonight. It's already, what, 10? So. It's day two, because we didn't finish, like I said, yesterday. Um... I didn't throw the sway bar links 
on the truck and I dropped it yesterday and it's sitting pretty low <clears throat> but it's leaning so it's kind of weird um, I'm gonna jack it up right now and see what's the issue I guess um, but yeah it's kind of weird I don't know if I can see it now better that it's in daylight but <clears throat> I'll get it jacked up and take the tires off a lot of fighting both top and bottom control arms are out now we just gotta put everything back together and we should be done tonight I mean it's like 9 15 so should be done and tomorrow morning we'll take it to get an alignment done and she'll be good to go all right good morning guys um Got my coffee. I haven't eaten anything yet, but um, I wanna start today off because it's already late, it's 11.49. Uh, we didn't finish the truck uh, because the lower control arm, that's the only thing I have, I have left. I'm gonna go switch it out because the tire rod, I mean the ball joint tore on us last night. And also the control arm fell on my face twice yesterday. I don't know if you can tell. Hit me right here and up here. Oh, that hurt. Anyways, so we're going to go try and exchange that control arm. And while I'm there, I'm going to see if I can get the neutral safety switch for my truck, for the Suburban. Um, and that should be it. And I'll be back here at home. And I'll try to tackle that by myself, finish everything off, and take it to work. So I can get an alignment on it and deliver it. Uh, because she's not here. Well, she's, she's at home and I don't know what she's doing. I don't really want to Necessarily wait right now just because I know that she's frustrated about the truck and she wants to get it back already. So And we have plans today I believe so I don't want to take too long um, It's her day off so I want to be able to do something today, but anyways, I will get back with you guys when I am back at the house Oh it's day two because we didn't finish like I said yesterday um, I didn't throw the sway bar link on the truck and I dropped it yesterday and it's sitting pretty low <clears throat> but it's leaning so it's kind of weird um, I'm gonna jack it up right now and see what's the issue I guess um, but yeah, it's kind of weird. I don't know if I can see it now better that it's in daylight, but <clears throat> I'll get it jacked up and take the tires off. After a lot of fighting, <laughs> both top and bottom control arms are out. Now we just got to put everything back together. And we should be done tonight. I mean, it's like 9.15, so should be done. And then tomorrow morning, we'll take it to get an alignment done. Should be good to go. All right, good morning, guys. Um, got my coffee. I haven't eaten anything yet, but um, I want to start today off because it's already late. It's 11 49. Uh, we didn't finish the truck uh, because the lower control arm that's the only thing I have, I have left. I'm going to go switch it out because the tire rod, I mean, the ball joint tore on us last night and also the control arm fell on my face twice yesterday i don't know if you can tell hit me right here and up here oh that hurt anyways so we're gonna go try and exchange that control arm and while i'm there i'm gonna see if i can get the neutral safety switch for my truck for the suburban um and that should be it and i'll be back here at home and I'll try to tackle that by myself, finish everything off and take it to work so I can get an alignment on it and deliver it uh, because she's not here. Well, she's, she's at home and I don't know what she's doing. I don't really want to necessarily wait right now just because I know that she's frustrated about the truck and she wants to get it back already. So, and we have plans today, I believe. So I don't want to take too long. Um, her day off so i want to be able to do something today but anyways i will get back with you guys when i am back at the house
All right, guys, so just got back to the house. Um, I did get the control arm. I'm just gonna put everything back together. Um, I'm not really gonna film that part just because I wanna get the truck done. Um, but yeah, let me get this done and then I have something to show you guys. So keep, I'll keep, I'll keep you guys updated. Give me a second. Both sides, inner and outer tire rods, both sides and sway bar link ends on both sides. So everything but the struts have been replaced. Going down. Oh, oh. <sighs> All right, guys, it's another day. Um, finished the truck. I've been waiting for it to get in alignment. Um, but right now we're gonna go pick up. Tony just got a new truck, so we're gonna have to go pull this bitch. What's going on, guys? It's Eric. Um, I'm starting it the vlog today kind of late uh, we finished that truck today um, so that video will be up already as you're watching this but um, now I'm back to my car focusing on my car um, I was gonna I told you I was gonna show y'all some stuff um, right now I'm washing the car because it needed uh, some love but let me show y'all real quick what I got for this car I already got a tire on the blowout now, boom, boilover babies. So yeah, guys, um, I will be trying to fix all the lighting issues on the vehicle. Um, right now I have a daytime running light on the dash, but I believe it's because my two front headlights are both out. So I'm gonna mess with those and see if I can get those to turn on. And then I'm gonna put new, uh, what is it? New license plate, license plate lights. LEDs in there um, and then once I do that I am going to install the coilovers but I also I thought about it and I think I'm going to paint these OEM wheels and um, put them on the car because I really like them um, but that will save me some time and money while I you know look for other wheels um, but yeah so let's get this car washed real quick Coilover is washed, and I'll, this will probably be a continued video to tomorrow because I'm kind of tired. Um, but yeah, guys, so I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Well, all right, guys, I noticed I didn't record an outro, um, so I'm doing this now. That is the end of the video. Um, I've been kind of off lately, kind of busy. Um, so I'm sorry for the lack of content, um, but I'm gonna try to keep you know my content up at least a video a week. Um, but yeah, so if you guys enjoyed the video, consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. Um, and we will be doing some changes to the GTI here in the next couple of weeks. Um, like I said, it's a daily. I don't want to do much to it, but. Um, I did do the tent already. I'm not too sure if I saw if I showed you guys uh, But we went back and did the windshield uh, Just to finish it off because it was still too much light coming in But um, yeah guys, this is gonna be the end of the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one